Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in with us today in our marketing research presentation. Today we're going to talk about Apple. So we have Azima, Brina, Elizabeth, and Jasmine. So for our situation analysis, we have come up with that Apple is an American trillion dollar multinational technology company that designs, develops, and sells electronics such as smartphones, tablets, personal computers, wearables, and accessories. Apple was created in 1976, founded by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. This company has become one of the largest tech companies in the world, leading in, small, in smart devices innovation. We believe that Apple has the opportunity to grow in product diversification to increase their sales in the future. As of 2018, 63% of Apple sales are accounted for by iPhone sales. However, since 2016, smartphones sales have decreased by 5.1% and are predicted to decrease continually. In order to be proactive in protecting the sales and further growth of Apple's innovative products, we believe that we should begin strategizing possible products to launch in the near future that will appeal to newer generations. Apple's current competitors include Dell Technologies, Lenovo Group, HP, and Sony Corporation. However, coming in as Apple's top competitor is Samsung. Apple's most popular product is the iPhone. The Samsung Galaxy and Note series is responsible for the reduction in iPhone sales for many, many years. However, today, Samsung has developed into one of the largest and most profitable companies, both in Asian region and in the world overall. Apple's consumers range from all different demographics, but the trend of the demographics include men outnumbering women on a two to one basis when it comes to purchasing Apple products, the average age of an Apple customer being 35 to 44, and one in four people in the 18 to 34 age demographic expressing a strong interest in purchasing an Apple product at some point in the next six months. To add to that, Apple users being 94% more likely to be affluent than others who utilize mobile devices on a regular basis. So our marketing research problem and opportunity and research questions include um, being that the goal of this research is to answer the following questions. We believe that Apple has the opportunity to grow in product diversification to increase their sales in the future. Apple should begin strategizing possible products to launch in the near future that will appeal to newer generations. The goal of the research is to answer the following questions. How can we, how can we increase sales through a variety of products? What, pro what problem do you wish Apple problems could fix? How well do iPhones meet your daily needs? And what made you choose an Apple product over a Samsung product? Now, to Jasmine with the hypothesis. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine. I'll be talking about the hypothesis and its justifications. Our first hypothesis is consumers are willing to upgrade iPhones. We wanna know if consumers are willing to upgrade their iPhones once new generations hit the market. Does the updates and improvements intrigue consumers enough to buy? Do new added features differ from older iPhone generations? We're researching whether or not consumers are more apt to buying the new and improved iPhone or if they are satisfied with the one they currently have. Apple monitors their social media platforms to see what consumers are saying about their products. The newest update includes being able to FaceTime all while being able to still do whatever task the user is doing on their device at the moment. This has been an ongoing request from users for years. Consumers tweet about how they wish Apple would create an update like that and here it is. This is just one example of how consumers influence product software updates. Our second hypothesis states, product promotions increase sales. Within our research, we will study the overall promotion of products. We would like to know if these improvements to Apple products actually satisfy their customers or if the promotion has no effect. Depending on what type of promotion Apple rolls out with, we will study the data which will tell us how consumers will react to new innovations. According to Titan Web, Apple promotion, uh, promotes their products through commercials and print ads focusing on how their products are different from cons uh, competitors. 
Commercial ads run when a product is first launched and print ads will run throughout the product's life. Ads usually follow the same style using either white backgrounds to contrast the stylish black of their products and logo or an inverse with black backgrounds and white text with a white logo. Ads are simple and to the point, usually focusing on one key feature of their product. The results are seen through their sales. In 2019, they made a revenue of over $64 billion. Our third hypothesis is iPhones influence the sales market environment the most. As researchers, we would like to know which products on the market have the most impact and why. We believe, we believe it is the iPhone due to the high volume of revenue within the cell phone market. The highest sold Apple product of 2020 is the iPhone 11. Apple is most known for their iPhone before any of their other products. According to iFix screens, the iPhone is the most popular and most sold item because of their innovation in manufacturing and delivery. Our fourth hypothesis states, the camera feature is the most appealing to consumers. We would like to know which characteristics, characteristics consumers gravitate towards do they care more for the camera quality, speed? We will collect data to find which characteristics stands out more and why. There are many reasons people love the iPhone. Reasons include design, software, and battery life, but the most appealing feature is agreed to be the camera quality. Our last and final hypothesis is product sales have not increased sales. Uh, I'm sorry, product sales have increased uh, sales since the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the hit of COVID, businesses have taken huge losses financially. Apple has taken hits, have, has Apple taken hits in sales? We are researching whether or not Apple has been thriving sales-wise in order to stay afloat, or has this pandemic caused sales to decline? According to the Wall Street Journal, Apple this year has largely benefited from demand for digital services, computers, and other devices as workers and students around the world have stayed home due to the spread of COVID-19. Sales of computers, iPads, smartwatch, and smartwatches helped buy the company in the three-month period with total revenue rising 1%. Wall Street analysis, uh, analysis surveyed by FactSet on average expected revenue to fall for the period. Revenue excluding iPhone sales rose 25% compared to a year ago with Mac computers reaching a record of $9 billion. As far as our conceptual framework, it is a structure based off our hypothesis, our tests that we conducted and our results that we have found. As far as the tests that we have conducted, uh, we stated if iPhones influence sales market environment the most, they do not influence the market the most. Are consumers willing to upgrade to new iPhone rollouts? Consumers are not willing to upgrade due to the fact that they are satisfied with their current iPhone. Have product sales increased since COVID-19 pandemic? Yes, the products have, the product sales have increased even through the pandemic. Is the camera feature the most appealing to consumers? No, the camera feature is not the most appealing. And do product promotions increase sales? Yes, product promotions do increase Apple sales overall. Now I'll be passing it over to Azima for our next slide. Hey guys, my name is Azima Mohammed, and I'd like to talk about the method real quick. So in order to obtain our results for our research questions, we actually developed a questionnaire that was spread to our peers, family members, and friends. The method of research was not ideal due to COVID restrictions. However, we believe that our results are actually very impactful for our research. Our sample size was rather large. It included classmates, family members relevant to the subject matter, and other students in the marketing department at Georgia State. Ideally, we would like to have a diverse sample with different age groups and in different geographic regions. However, again, with COVID restrictions, we used the resources we had. Our response rate was adequate given the circumstances. We received a little over 30 responses to our questionnaire. In the next slide, I have a breakdown of the respondent demographic. As you can see, 92.6% of our respondents were Apple owners and 7.4% were non-Apple owners. This is significant because it gives us a variety of responses. A majority of our responses actu respondents actually carried multiple Apple gadgets and their main values were battery life and camera quality. Overall, a majority of the respondents were satisfied with their past purchases. The two main ethnicities that responded were black and white, and 60.3% of them ranged from the ages of 20 to 28. 
97% of them lived in Georgia and 3% of them lived in Alabama. 28% of them have the iPhone 11 currently and 88% 88.9% of them do not wish to purchase the iPhone 12. Now I'd like to pass it to Brina for the data analysis. Hello guys, my name is Brina Martinez and I'll be going over the data analysis. For our data analysis, we conducted three different tests that included frequency distribution, correlation analysis, and the chi-square test. So for our first analysis, we took a look at the frequency distribution of features that are important to customers when purchasing a new product. We decided to look at how important is price, camera quality, and whether or not they would buy the latest generation of iPhone. Since our hypothesis questioned whether or not the camera feature was the most important and appealing feature, this was definitely one of our top priorities to look at. We found that price and battery life are the most appealing features when purchasing a new product among those surveyed. For our next analysis, we took a look at whether or not there was a correlation between the age of participants and how many Apple products they owned. Using the correlation analysis, we found that we had a correlation coefficient of 0.1, that we have a positive but a weak correlation. For our third test, we have the chi-square test. We wanted to test if gender was related to whether or not a person was purchasing the new iPhone and whether they were related. We found that the p-value is greater than 0.05, and according to our data that we collected, our independent and dependent variables do affect each other. For our results, our data collection of primary sources have helped us conclude that there is a positive but weak correlation between age and number of Apple products owned, gender, and why whether or not the iPhone 12 will be purchased do affect each other. We have also found that yes, the camera feature is appealing to customers, but it is not the most appealing. Our questionnaire shows that battery life and price are more appealing and more important to customers when purchasing a new product than camera feature. We also found that the highest sold Apple product of 2020 is the iPhone 11. 28% of our respondents in our questionnaire currently own the iPhone 11 and are satisfied with their purchase. Only one answered yes to upgrading to the iPhone 12. Even through a pandemic, Apple has managed to increase revenue, excluding iPhone sales, by 25% compared to a year ago. And now passing it back to Azima for our recommendations. Thanks, Brina. So from our results, we'd like to suggest the following improvements for Apple. First, with the increase in virtual sales during the pandemic compared to in-person sales, we feel that Apple should invest heavily in online marketing and virtual selling strategies to maintain the sales spike. Second, we would also like to suggest developing new software updates and products that can increase battery life and have payment plans that are affordable for a larger population. The new released iPhones all have upgraded with the camera feature. However, we suggest that we implement new changes to attract a larger audience, such as um, improved battery life. Lastly, we believe that it would be beneficial for Apple to release supplement products to the iPhones similar to, you know, AirPods, charging stations, other products similar to that. Since as we since as we can see that the turnaround rate for the new iPhones are very low, if our customers do upgrade, it's mainly due to them wearing out their current iPhone rather than being attracted to the new upgrades. So we would like to ask, what will it be, Apple? Are you ready to make the new changes that are necessary to bring our business to another level? Thank you once again for your time.